learning class. Topic natin ngayon is Introduction to Rational Function. Objectives to recall rational expression and to distinguish rational expression, rational inequality, and rational function. So, anong magkakaiba ng tatlo? Yan. Rational expression is an expression that can be written as a ratio of two polynomial. So, paliwanag ko muna. Pag sinabing ratio, yan. Sure, example ng ratio, di ba? 2 is to 3. Yan. So, yung 2 is to 3 na ratio, ng elementary, can be written in fraction. So, pwede siyang ilagay as 2 over 3. Of 2 polynomial, ibig sabihin, yung numerator natin is a polynomial, yung denominator natin is a polynomial. Yan. Paano ba natin malalaman kung polynomial? Dito tayo sa not. Hindi siya polynomial pag ang exponent ng variable negative. Yan. Example, negative 1. Hindi siya polynomial pag ang exponent ng variable is fraction. Yan. Hindi siya polynomial pag yung variable nasa loob ng radical sign. So, ito mga hindi polynomial yan. Ha? Hindi rin siya polynomial pag ang numerical coefficient ng variable is not real. For example, 3i. Yan. 3ix. So, not real. Imaginary yan. So, ito yung mga hindi polynomial. So, pag yung numerator hindi polynomial or yung denominator hindi polynomial, hindi na siya rational expression. O, mag-example tayo. Yan. So, ito. Yung numerator, hindi naman negative exponent. Yung variable, hindi naman fractional exponent yung variable. Wala naman yung mga variables sa loob ng radical. Wala naman imaginary na coefficient. Therefore, this example is a rational expression. Yan. So, yung numerator, polynomial. Yan. Tignan ko nga. Yan. Yung numerator, polynomial. Yung denominator, polynomial. Yan. Ratio between uh, ratio ng two polynomials. Yan. So, rational expression. Yan. Ito. Rational expression din yan. Yan. Rational expression because the numerator 1 is a polynomial of degree 0. Yan. So, ito yung degree 0. Ibig sabihin, di ba ito degree 3? Kasi x cubed. Ito, ang x ito is x raised to 0. Siyempre, di mo nalalagay yun kasi x raised to 0 is 1. O, oh, sa mga nagtatanong, Sir, bakit nga pala sa loss of exponent, bakit x raised to 0 is 1? Bakit nga, sir? O, example tayo. Kunyari, x cube over x cube. Pero kailangan yung x not equal to 0 kasi 0 over 0 is indeterminate. Yan. So, sa loss of exponent, pag division, yan, pag division, baka siya minus, diba? So, pag division, may na minus. So, x, 3, minus 3. So, x is 0. Pag ginamitin natin ng um, yung sa number, diba? 5 divided by 5. 4 divided by 4. Pag same number divided by same number, pero lang 0, ang answer na, diba? 1. So, x is 0 equals 1. Kaya ganun yun, ha? Oh, example tayo. Next example. Yan. Ito. Polynomial ulit yan. Kasi yung numerator, polynomial. Yung denominator, polynomial. Yung denominator, degree 0, ba? Ito, sir. Wala ng denominator. So, pag wala ng denominator, ba? Understood na ang denominator niya is 1. So, ito. Pwede mo sabihin na rational expression yan. Pwede mo sabihin na polynomial yan. ba? Sir, ito. Yan. Ang tawag dito is complex fraction. Ano yung complex fraction? May fraction inside the fraction. So, fraction ng fraction. Parang ganun. So, yan. Um, rational expression yan. So, paano ba sisimplify yan? Bakit yan? Ito yung numerator natin. Yung numerator natin, fraction. Yung numerator natin, may numerator at may denominator. Ito yung denominator natin. So, paano ba yan? Copy nyo yung numerator. 2 over x plus 3 times reciprocal yung denominator. So, magiging 1 over x plus 4. Tapos, multiply. So, 2 times 1 is 2. Dahil magkaiba yung denominator, pagtabihin nyo na lang. x plus 3 times x plus 4. Yan. So, ito, polynomial yung numerator. Yung denominator natin, polynomial. Therefore, rational expression yan. Ito, rational expression ba siya? Sir, hindi po. Yan. Bakit hindi? Kasi, yung numerator natin, yan, yung numerator natin, yung variable, nasa loob ng radical. E di ba bawal yun? Paulitin natin na, pag yung variable nasa loob ng radical, not a polynomial. So, not a uh, polynomial. E di ba kailangan, pag rational expression, kailangan yung numerator, polynomial, yung denominator, nat yung denominator natin, polynomial din. So, not kasi, yung variable nasa loob ng radical. Ulit natin na, not a polynomial din, pag yung exponent niya negative, not polynomial din pag yung variable exponent niya is fraction. And not polynomial pag yung numerical ng variable is um, complex yan. 
So, ito yung mga not. Tsaka yan, not yan. So, ito, not a rational expression. Ano ba yung rational equation? So, ang rational equation, um, two rational expression connected by an equal sign. So, pag may equal sign sa gitna, tapos yung left side, rational expression, yung right side, rational um, expression, rational equation yun. Alin naman yung rational inequality? So, rational inequality, pag yung left side, rational expression, yung right side, rational e expression, tapos ang ano nila, ang nagkakonek sa kanila is inequality symbol like um, greater than, ang tawag dyan, greater than, ha? eto, less than, eto, greater than or equal to, eto, less than or equal to. Yan, inequality symbol. Yan. Rational function, yan, ang form niya, f of x or function of x equals p of x over q of x. So, yung p of x and q of x are polynomial and yung denominator is dapat hindi siya zero. Kasi pag zero yung denominator, ang tawag doon undefined. Ngayon, 5 divided by zero, undefined yun. Example tayo. So, determine if yung given natin is rational function ba siya, rational equation or rational inequality. So, ito, automatic rational function to kasi eh, no, may nakalagay f of x. Diba? Ang, ang ibig sabihin ng function is relationship, diba? Ayan, relasyon. So, relationship ng function nito, tsaka nito. Diba yung f of x yun yung y? Relationship between two variables. So, ito is a rational function. Ayan. Ayan. Another example. Ito. Yung, le yung left side is wait, yung left side is rational expression. Yung right side is rational expression. Tapos, nakakonek sa kanila, equal sign. So, rational equation yan. Yan. Basta may equal sign, equation. Tapos, walang, walang variable y or walang f of x, equation yan. yan. So, ito, rational equation. Yan. O, next tayo. Ito, yung, yung left side is yung left side is rational expression. Yung right side is rational expression. Ang nagkakonek sa kanila is inequality symbol, then rational inequality. Yan, greater than. Diba? Inequality. So, rational inequality yan. O, ito. Yung left side is um, rational expression. Yung right side, rational expression. Tapos, ang nagkakonek sa kanila is equal sign therefore rational equation yan. Yan. O, ito. So, yung left side, y. So, may variable na y na. Yung right side natin is a rational expression. So, dahil meron siyang y at ito rational expression, then rational function yan. Then, yung y, pwede mo siyang isulat as f of x, di ba? So, yung y tsaka f of x equal lang naman yan. Eh. So, ito, rational function. Yan. And yung last one. So, yung left side, yung left side is um, rational expression. Ito, expression din yan. Tapos ito, ang nagkakonek sa kanila is rational, ay is inequality symbol, di ba? Less than or equal to. Therefore, dahil may inequality symbol, rational inequality yan. Yan. Check pa rin kung tama yung answer natin. O, di ba tama? So, kung nuggets, kung, uh, kung alam na ngayon kung ano yung magkakaiba ng rational function sa rational equation at rational inequality, so, ayos. Ayan. So, mag-aaral na maigi. Subscribe. Salamat.